everybody so welcome back now this video is a highly requested video to see my MAC makeup collection now this all the stuff I'm going to be showing you in this video is going to be MAC and I purchase everything on my own um, I work I save up my money and I buy makeup because it's what makes me happy so I'm not trying to brag in any way um, throughout this whole video I just want to do this request so this video is specifically about my MAC makeup. I do have other makeup, like other brands and stuff, like drugstores and stuff, but um, I guess lots of people wanted to see my MAC makeup collection. I thought I'd just get started. Um, I think I just want to jump right into it because it's going to be a really long video, and I'm going to split it into sections, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so brushes. I don't have that many brushes from MAC because I personally like my Sigma ones. Um, I'm content with them. They're great quality. Um, they work well and they're just as good as MAC brushes are. So I only have four MAC brushes and these are what they are. So I have the MAC 217. Okay, looks like that. Great for um, placing crease colors and stuff. MAC 224. Great for blending out colors. Um, the MAC 165, I use this to set my concealer and I use this for highlight. And then the MAC, what is this? MAC 109. And I use this for contour and sometimes foundation. Now what I hate about MAC brushes are is that their numbers rub off really easily and I hate that. I really, really do not like that at all. But yeah, what are you going to do, right? So I only have four MAC brushes, so that's that. Now onto the lips. I don't have that many MAC lip products because I'm not a huge fan of MAC lip products. I'm totally fine with drugstore products. So I'm just going to show you my lip products. It's going to be this little container and a little bit more. So um, lipsticks, what I have is Speed Dial. And this is a cream sheen, one of my favorite hot pinks from MAC. I love cream sheen um, finishes because they're just great payoff and very moisturizing. This is also a cream sheen. This is Shy Girl. Now it melted, so not too happy about that, but that's what that looks like. Creme de Nude, which is also a cream sheen. It's so little because I totally love it. Great nude color for me. Then this is a luster. And this is called Guilty Kiss. It's like this beigey nude color with um, a lot of metallic sheen to it. Um, this is discontinued, I believe. I don't think you can get this. So then I have this one, which is a uh, Hello Kitty color. This is Fashion Muse. It's like a light lavender. And then this one is my Lady Gaga lipstick. Okay, beautiful bubblegum pink color. So those are the lipsticks. Alright, so moving on, I have one matte teen lipstick, and this is in Immodest. This is my favorite going out color. When I go out to the club, to the city, go out at night, very vibrant and very pretty. I like this color. Then I have three Dazzle glasses, and these are it. This one's Date Night. Beautiful, as you can see, I'm almost done. I love it. It's like a purple color with lots of pretty shimmer in it. This is Glamour OD. You can't get this anymore. Um, I got this at my CCO. And this is Bare Necessity. Now this one I use all the time. As you can tell, it's almost done. But Dazzle Glasses are very nice. I was into them when they first came out. But now they're just, they're not my favorite. They're kind of sticky. So they're not, you know, I wouldn't really recommend them. So, but they're just really pretty colors. So if you like a lot of sparkle, then Dazzle Glasses are your best friends. But if you don't like sticky, don't get these. Lip glass and luster glasses. I only have four or three lip glasses and one luster glass. So this is the only luster glass I have. This is from the Style Warrior collection. It's called Liberated. And it's this yellow color. Yellow gold color. And then these are the lip glasses that I have. I only get lip glasses when they're in collections because like I like to collect different packagings. So this one's from Hello Kitty. This is She Loves Candy. Um, this one's from Heatherette, Sock Hop. It's a pretty coral color, my favorite summer lip gloss. And this one is, 
what is this? Crazy Hot from Colorcraft? Is that what it is? I have no idea. And then lastly, I have my Pink Fish Tinted Lip Conditioner from the Hello Kitty collection. Looks like that. Very pretty. Really moisturizing. And it smells like vanilla. I love it. And then I have my MAC uh, Skin Solve. Looks like that. You use it on your lips, um, on your elbows. My elbows get really dry, so I put it on. And it's not dry anymore. So I like that. It smells like, like honey. I don't know. It's from the Naked Honey collection, as you can tell. So that's all my lip stuff. I don't have that much MAC lip products because I'm not really into it. They're sticky. Um, the one thing I would recommend um, for lip products from MAC is their lipsticks. I love love their lipsticks so I'm gonna try to collect some more but yeah that's what I have for now so the products that are multi-use multi-purpose I don't have that many um I have my MAC Fix Plus which I love great for you know hydrating your skin setting your makeup you can use it with pigments so MAC Fix Plus and then I have pigments. I have the pigment set from the holiday. This one's called Five Hot Hijinks. Looks like that. And I have Five Sexy Smoky Mini. Sex Pot Smoky. Sex Pot Smoky. Yeah. <laughs> Sex Pot Smoky. Then I have individual pigments. This one is Silver Fog. It's just a silver color. It's nothing exciting, honestly. And this one is copperized. Okay. So that's all I have for the multi-purpose, multi-use um, stuff from MAC. Eye products. Like eyeshadows, um, eye bases, and palettes and stuff like that. First I'm going to do my paint pots. I only have three. I used to have more but I sold a lot of my makeup so it's all I have left are three. Soft Ochre paint pot. My favorite. I use it every day as a base so this is my absolute favorite. I have Girl Friendly. It's a matte pink color. My last one is Green Stroke. Green Stroke. So that's all the paint pots I have. I used to have a lot more, but I sold them all. So, you know. Eyeshadows, my potted single ones. This is soft brown. Love this to blend um, above the crease. Great, soft brown. Go get it. It's a matte. This one is limited edition. This is called Aquavert. Um, it's a Velux Pearl. It's just like a minty color. I never use this color. I'm never going to buy any other MAC eyeshadow like this because I don't use it. Expensive pink, pretty color, uh, Velux Pearl, and it has like a gold shimmer to it, so it's really nice. I just don't wear that many pinks on my eyes that much, so this doesn't get that much use. Love Naked Lunch. Can you see that? Yeah, Naked Lunch. Great as a lid color, and sometimes as a highlight. It depends how shimmery you like to go for your highlight. Copper plate. I don't use this that much. Looks like that. It's just like a matte. It's a matte squared, and it's a kind of like a gray color. But that's copper plate. Now let's go to my palette. This is my MAC palette. I haven't gotten many new eyeshadows. I don't think I've purchased any eyeshadows lately. So here I have Carbon, Typographic, Vanilla, Woodwinked, Rice Paper, Nylon, Texture, uh, cork uh, satin taupe my favorite you need to get this if you don't have it <laughs> so satin taupe um, mystery right here what is this sketch no that's not sketch what is this? this one is fig one this one's sketch this one is hepcat and cranberry and Sumptuous Olive. I only have two MAC palettes. Yeah, not that many. This one is Steamy. This one... What is this? Newly Minted Club. Mm -hmm. I don't know these colors. 
Gorgeous Gold, Velvet Moss, which is limited edition. You can't get this anymore. It's a matte squared, I believe. I love that. And orange. All my eyeshadows that are pans. Now the palettes and quads. I have my Tempting Quad. I have my Shadowy Lady. Okay. And my Well Plumbed. Well Plumbed. This one, Espresso. Look, I messed it up. Oh well. What am I going to do, right? Then I have an Empty Quad to travel with. Then I have my Hello Kitty Lucky Tom palette. Looks like that. Then I have my holiday palette from 2008. So that's all my eye products. Not that many, right? <laughs> okay, you guys. So now on to my face products. <gasps> okay, my face products. Alright. Before I drop everything, right? Um, first thing here, I have a medium dark blot powder. It's just a blot powder. Like when I'm oily, if I go out in the city, I take this just in case I get oily. And I just blot myself. Beauty powders, um, don't have too many. I have Hello Kitty's Tahitian Sand. Looks like that. Yeah, it's like a peachy color. I don't really use it. The Summer Rose from the Rose Romance. Beauty powder, so pretty. The payoff on this is really bad. Like, really bad. I just like it because the embossed rose, right? That's such a pathetic reason to buy it, but whatever. I have my bronzers, my Smooth Harmony from Heatherette. Love this packaging. Who does not love Heatherette packaging? You know what I'm saying? Love it. And one of my favorite, favorite bronzers, Solar Reach. Gotta love it, because I do. Then I have my Sculpt and Shape. Sculpt and Shape, yeah. This is limited edition, these duo kind of things. This came out a long, long time ago. But if you go to your Mac, Mac, if you go to your Mac Pro stores, you can buy them singly. Okay, so I forgot to mention in my um, multi-purpose, multi-use products, I have, oh, goodness, um, Max. Cream color base in pearl. Now cream color bases can be used as highlight on your face or as an eyeshadow base sometimes. Cream color base. Now what is this? I'm going to do mineralized skin finishes. This mineralized skin finish is the natural. So this is a medium plus. Love this to set my foundation or as a foundation even because it's great light coverage. This one is the Mineralized skinish skin <laughs> mineralized skin finish in medium dark and natural and shimmer. Now these were limited edition. They were like released a while ago. You can't get these anymore. But you can always get just the mineralized skin finish naturals like this. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Then I have the mineralized skin finish natural and shimmer. And this one's in medium. Whoops. Now on to the you know regular mineralized skin finishes. I have Petticoat. Beautiful, beautiful pink color. I love the veining in this. It's so pretty. Perfect topping. This is my favorite highlight color from MAC. I love this color. So pretty. This was from the Sugar Sweet collection. So you can definitely find it. No, not definitely, but you can find it at a CCO. My CCO always has it for some reason. So Good thing, so I won't run out. My ultimate favorite, bronzer and blush, So Ceylon. So Ceylon. Unfortunately, it's limited edition and discontinued. So, I don't know. Go to your CCO, I guess. And then the last one is Light Flush. I don't use this at all. I don't recommend this. It's not that great. I really don't use it that much. So, I don't really like Light Flush. But it's whatever. On to the blushes. I have right here Grand Duo. It's a mineralized blush. Then I have this other mineralized blush in Hot Planet. Now these duos are were limited edition, so you can't get the duos anymore. But yeah. Now normal blushes. I have Ever Sun. Looks like that. This really warm. 
um, peachy, beigey color. This one here is Feeling. I love this color. It's so pretty. I wear this a lot, actually, so I like this color. This one I don't wear so often. Um, this one's called Pink Swoon, but it's very popular. A lot of people love it. It's like a bright baby pink color, but it's pretty bright for a baby pink. You know what I'm saying? Then I have True Romantic. Um, not the best color. I don't grab for it that much. This here is Spaced Out. I love this. It's like a peachy, yeah, a peachy color. This is my favorite um, summer blush. Very pretty when I have a tan. Just a really pretty peachy glow. So I love Spaced Out. This one was limited edition. You can't get it. A lot of these are limited edition. I am so sorry for that. But anyway. Um, Fun and Games from Hello Kitty. It's another peachy color. Not my favorite. It's a little too light for me. But I love the packaging. And the last blush that I have is On a Mission. Really pretty purple color. Don't grab for this that much, but it's really pretty. Um, looks like that. So that is all the face products. Alright, so if you guys have been subscribed to me for a long, long time, or like, you know, if you've seen my makeup collection video, the first one, or no, not the first one, the second one, my updated one, you guys know I'm a big, um, backup freak. Like, if you guys know what I mean, like, if I, I'll have a, a product and I'll have a, ba a backup of it just in case something happens, like it gets discontinued or maybe, maybe it was like on sale, like a buy one get one kind of thing and just got an extra one. I do that a lot. I have lots of backups and especially for lip products, I don't open that many lip products until I'm finished, a lip, uh, like another lip product. So I don't like to, especially like cream products, lip, lip products like lip glosses and um, you know cream color bases and stuff like that I try not to open them until I'm almost through or almost done a couple of other ones that I have already opened so I'm a big backup person like I love getting backups of stuff I just love buying stuff but if it's sometimes I just don't open it yet I just kinda keep it in my drawer to open it later I'm so weird like that I know I'm gonna get like weird comments like hate comments for it but that's just how I am like what if something gets discontinued you can't ever get it anymore so you need a backup so that's how I think that's how I think about it and um, I'm gonna show you guys my backup drawer of Mac and or my unopened drawer so this is it kinda crazy I know well, let me just go through it real quick. So I went to my CCO recently and I found the Lightful Skincare line there. And this one is the Ultra Moisture Cream. It looks like this. I have a backup of the Heatherette Sock Hop Lip Glass that I showed you previously. So that I have a backup of Spaced Out Blush, which I also showed you guys. I have this blush, which is an X Rocks. Let me just take it out. Um, I haven't used this yet. Uh, I don't know why, but it looks like that. Really pretty. Then I have um, a Hello Kitty lipstick. See Hello Kitty, and this one is in Strayan. Okay, it looks like that. Um, let me just show you guys. That's what it looks like. Never used it. I just, I just have it. I just love the packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging. I really am. I can't help it. Then I have, what is this? Oh, Lollipop Loving Lipstick. Oh, I haven't opened this one either. Let me just show you guys what it is. So that's what it is. This was really, really popular when it first came out. And I think it's discontinued. So you can't get it anymore. But I have one. This Emmanuel Ngaro um, cream color base in Fresh Morning. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Then I have the Emmanuel Ngaro lipstick in Freckle Tone. Haven't used this either. Ugh. I really need to start using this stuff, right? Hold on, let me show you. This is Freckle Tone. 
nice nude color if you're a tan kind of person, like NC30, 35, I believe. This is a good nude for you. Freckle tone. Then I have the my MAC Bare Slim Shine. You guys have seen this in my previous haul video. I'm not going to even show it to you. But it's the Bare Slim Shine because it's being discontinued. I have a Feline Eye Coal Eyeliner. I have this Mineralize Eyeshadow Trio in Danger Zone. This is limited edition, so you can't get this anywhere, so that's why I have it. Because I like it. This Mineralized Blush in Style Demon. Really pretty. I heard that this one's limited edition too. You can't get this anywhere either. So, I think that's what it is. Like, when it's limited edition, I want it. Because I can't get it. So, I try to get it. Um, oh my god. I have another Lollipop Loving. So, I guess I have two Lollipop Lovings. I guess. Um, a backup of my Lady Gaga lipstick. Love this color. So I had to get a backup. Um, my MAC Foffy um, Quad. I got this in a swap. You guys saw it in my previous haul. But I haven't used it yet, so I just threw it in this drawer. But yeah, that. Um, oh my gosh, another mineralized blush that I haven't used yet. <sighs> I'm crazy. I know. I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna get hate comments for this, but... This one's in daft pink. I haven't used it yet at all. I'm so bad. I'm such a makeup addict. Like, I really am. My cream sheen glass that my brother got me for my for my Christmas present, one of, or part of it, I haven't even opened it yet because I have so many lip products I have to go through, and I want to go through them, you know what I mean? I don't want them to all go bad because they're all open, so I have that. I'm waiting to use that. Then I have um, Petticoat Mineralized Skin Finish. I guess it's a backup. I don't even remember. Then I have Cheeky Bronze. Now, I purchased Cheeky Bronze because Love Blend and Beauty, which is another makeup guru on YouTube, loves this color. So I had to get it because of her. So thanks a lot, Rachel. God, I'm just kidding. Looks like that. I haven't used it yet, though. So I'm sure it's pretty because... Rachel likes it. I'm gonna link her YouTube channel, Love Blend and Ble Blah. Love Blend and Beauty, in the sidebar somewhere down there, or this way. No, yeah, this way. Then I have, of course, backups of my So Salon. You guys know I got backups from my previous haul. Then my Full Fuchsia blush that I just got in my previous haul. You saw that. I haven't used it yet though. <laughs> it's so bright. And then I haven't used these cream cream blend blushes yet from the Mac and Lily Land collection. This is so sweet, so easy. And this one is Joy de Vivre. Joy de Vivre. I don't know. Something from French. I don't know. But yeah, that's that. And I haven't opened it. So that's it. I wanted to go through that really quick because I know you guys probably think I'm crazy. But oh, I should really sell some of this stuff. I haven't even opened it yet, so I haven't used them yet. But if you guys should I, get, should I do a makeup sale? Let me know if you guys are interested in like a makeup sale or something. My previous makeup sales have been successes, so I'll probably do one because I have a lot of um, unopened stuff or whatever. I guess you could say backups. I call them backups. You guys like I know somebody ha out there has to do what I do. You know what I mean? Like. I mean, what if something gets discontinued? That's like, what do I, you know what I mean? So, if you're one of these kind of people that, you know, has backups and stuff, please let me know so I'm not alone out there. But I hope you guys enjoy my MAC makeup collection video. That's all. It's not that much. Actually, it's a lot. But compared to other gurus, not that much. And um, that's what I have for now. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.